Here at Fairchild, we have a great legacy of exploration. And of course, plants are the thing that make it possible for people to live on Earth. They make all life possible on Earth. Growing Beyond Earth is a multi-classroom science project designed to advance NASA research on growing plants in space. As NASA looks towards a long-term human presence beyond Earth's orbit, there are specific science, technology, engineering, and math challenges related to food production in space. With help from thousands of students across the nation, Growing Beyond Earth is addressing those challenges by expanding the diversity and quality of edible plants that can be grown aboard spacecraft. Well, this is a very important project to us. The results from their research feed into our scientists at NASA, who are then selecting plants that will be tested on the International Space Station and for going on to the Moon and Mars. Growing Beyond Earth is really important to me because I love to work with tangible science and all my classmates in collaborating with NASA scientists, which is an opportunity that not many students get, and it goes beyond lectures. And although I enjoy the content of my environmental science classes, it's so fascinating to work with all of these plants and these technologies, and I would not be able to work without Growing Beyond Earth. Growing Beyond Earth, it started here in schools within South Florida, but now we've expanded across the nation. We're in 310 schools in 42 states. There are tens of thousands of students participating. The plant we're growing here today is a variety called Extra Dwarf Bok Choy. This has been a real superstar. We've had this grown in hundreds of schools in Miami-Dade in equipment just like this, with middle schools and high schools uh, students collecting all the data and telling us how these plants grow. What we found is that this extra dwarf bok choy grows well, it's very dense, stays small, has great flavor. It had this wonderful journey through the schools of South Florida and beyond, and recently it was launched also to the International Space Station. So what a journey this plant has had. We now are doing things on the International Space Station that were first tested here at Fairchild. They came up with ideas and, and we worked together to develop wonderful ways for Fairchild students to help NASA get the data that we need for growing plants in space to feed the astronauts. I find my students learn best when they have a real connection to the lesson. My students understand that NASA values and is using the data that they collect. This takes growing beyond Earth to education, growing beyond the classroom. So my question that I asked the astronauts was, how do scientists on the ground help you do science on the SSS? We're actually one of those scientists, and it's actually really cool how we're supporting them. With my research, I'm helping not only them, but us in the future. Thank you, Fairchild Tropical Botanic Garden and NASA for giving us the opportunity to conduct research that will impact future space exploration.